When we talk about virtualization, VMware is one of the best choices and most popular in town. You can download VMware vSphere Hypervisor 6.7 for free and install on bare metal servers or workstations. But this will be a single node cluster. You can find the quick demo for installing a VMware vSphere uh, Hypervisor EXXI in the description of this video. Okay, you need a VMware vSender server for a full uh, vSphere cluster experience and this is a licensed uh, software yeah and uh, yeah fortunately vmware is offering a free trial for this product and you can download uh, the trial software from their portal if you are watching our videos for the first time uh, my name is yini and welcome to tech Weekly. if you think our videos are useful uh, please uh, consider subscribing to this youtube channel uh, to get all the latest videos okay Please note, this demo is only for explaining the steps to cover VMware vSender installation in a lab or test environment. You must uh, consider recommended uh, prerequisites, architecture and configurations for production level clusters. Step 1. We need to prepare our physical host. Okay, in this demo, I have a physical server already uh, installed with EXSI 6.7 with the VMware vSphere Hypervisor 6.7 and I am installing VMware vSender, vSender as a virtual machine inside the same host that means we don't need a dedicated physical host for vSender server. Installing EXSI host is uh, simple and straightforward as uh, you can download the ISO and uh, boot and install like any other Linux operating system. Okay, uh, step two: download the vSender appliance uh, from uh, from VMware portal. You can download the ISO or in the zip format and open in your workstation and check contents of the directory. We are using the UI installer for Windows for this demo, and you can try other methods uh, like CLI or GUI from Linux as you need. Refer the documentation for different installation methods. Once you are inside the proper directory, open install and proceed with a visual. As I mentioned earlier, this will be a bit different from Linux or Mac based installations. So the next step is install uh, install the vCenter appliance. So in this step, we will deploy the vCenter server appliance. So we have to agree uh, on end user license agreement and proceed. Next, you choose the installation method. You can choose a different method if you have other components already installed uh, like uh, platform service controller or vSender server. Uh, then choose your EXXI host uh, target. So you have the, you, you, you will know the IP address of, your, address of your EXXI host. So this is the place we choose our installed EXXI host which is already installed with the VMware Hyper, vSphere hypervisor. Then the setup will ask for uh, configuring vSender appliance specifications. Choose the credential for vSender server OS. Please note, this is not the vSender login credential, but the vSender VM or the appliance operating system login like root. Yeah, that one. Then you choose vSender server VM specifications like um, the tiny or small etc. In our case, uh, tiny deployment uh, size is enough as we are setting up a lab environment.
Next, you choose a data store to save the VM. I have already added NFS data store in the EXSI host using the local disk. So you set up by your own for this purpose. Choose your network configurations for vSender server and click next. Finally, verify configurations and finish uh, setup. Okay, Wizard will start deploying uh, Vizender server appliance as uh, per as per our configurations and uh, wait for the task to finish. It will take some time, and I am just pausing the video until that. Okay, once done, the wizard will show success status like uh, this, uh, which indicates that the stage 1 installation has been completed and need to complete with stage 2. Do not worry if you see some uh, some messages like uh, warning or error like this. Uh, still, you can proceed with stage two by accessing the appliance URL on port five four eight zero. Now we will proceed with uh, install installing and uh, in this uh, this is a stage 2 and we will set up the vSender server as I mentioned access your newly installed vSender on the browser on port 5480 and proceed with the setup. Wizard will uh, proceed with the vSender server appliance configuration. Now you choose your appliance uh, configuration where you will enter and confirm network details for your vSender appliance VM. Make sure you configure correct DNS servers etc. If no DNS is configured, please add proper entries in the slash etc host file for your SSI host. Yeah, just make sure you've done this.
Now you need to configure the SSO and login. For our lab setup, we just uh, create a new SSO domain as you can see on the screen. Then uh, you verify the configuration of the appliance and click finish. Installation we saw it will uh, proceed with appliance uh, setup and wait for it to be completed. Again, this also will take some time to complete and please uh, monitor the status of installation. Once completed, the wizard will show the status uh, with a success message. So let's access VMware vCenter uh, and test it how it's working. Now you can access your v VMware vCenter and see the details. Launch a vSphere client to log in. Then log in with your SSO credential which you have configured during the stage 2. Let's verify the details and configurations. You, I mean, yes, um, our VMware vCenter server appliance is up and running. Even though you have installed this on top of an EXSI host, it won't display by default. Now you need to add your EXSI host um, one by one and you can start creating new VMs inside. Hope you got some basic ideas on setting up a VMware vCenter server appliance and yeah if you have a question please ask in the comment box and I will try my best to answer and that's all for this video uh, thanks for watching uh, if you think our videos are useful please like this video if you don't like please dislike the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get the latest videos see you next time with another video and thank you